Hello, welcome to my dorm that is way too expensive for what it is. Let me show you around a bit, just a bit. This right here is where I sleep, eat, study, draw, paint, everything. As you can see from the general layout, this is my desk and I have my bed right above me, very convenient. I actually do hit my head on the bar way too much, um, but I haven't been concussed yet, so that's a plus. Upon first glance, you may be looking above my head, being like, hmm, why is barbed wire above you? To that I respond, it is not barbed wire, but springs. Springs for my lovely bed, which I am very fortunate to have. Whenever I have conference calls and Zooms with my professors, they always ask, oh my gosh, where are you? Under a bed. My bed. My bed. Let's do some stair masters, y'all. Okay, come with me. Okay? One. Two. You see my figure? You see my body? Yeah, yeah. It's cause we work out. We work out, y'all. Every single time before I go to bed, I do a little exercise. I'm doing the exercise of going up those stairs. My glutes, on fire, okay? Biggest butt ever. It's giving BBL. It's giving Kardashian. It's giving what needs to be gave. And it's because I have a Stairmaster. But now that you're in my bed, let's get a little cozy, y'all. Let's talk. Oh. Hello. This is kind of like an intimate moment. I'm not sure if I should bring a candle. If I should like light a candle and put it on my half cotton, half polyester bed that could easily go up in flames. It'll be a story time if it happened. It'll be a nice and fun, fresh apartment fire story time. Yeah. That was a joke, by the way. It's a joke. Please do not cancel me. I get so cold at night for absolutely no reason. So I have three blankets on here. I have my comforter. I have this blanket comforter thing. And I have this lovely quilted little blanket my mom gave me. She actually made it out of my old baby clothes. So fun, so cute. Um, that's, that's it. That's where I, I sleep here. Okay, moving on to the desk. My desk is broken up into three little sections. In the corner, we just have where all my clothes are stored at the bottom of the drawers. And then we have a little easel on top that's purely there for aesthetics. I actually can't use the easel because books are just on top of it. I'm an art student, not an interior designer. So don't come for me. Don't try it. Don't even try it. On my desk, we also have some super cute glasses that are absolutely fake. They are blue light, and I'm pretty sure that's a pyramid scheme, but it's chill. And inside this toilet paper roll is Remy Wolf's drumstick. I did go to her concert, and right next to the drumstick is actually my EpiPen. My EpiPen because I am allergic to nuts. For this middle section, we have all my technology, my computers, my monitors, my iPad, where I do all of my digital work. I'm currently taking a Photoshop class, and it's kind of going like a mess. It's a mess right now because I don't know jack shit about technology. I am a traditional artist, historically. But we're learning. We're getting through it. And for my very last part of my room, the little corner with all my plants, very cute, very fun and fresh. Like I said, I have some plants, but I am not a botanist and my plants are literally dying or in the process of dying like most things in life. They're not doing too hot. In fact, the mason jars are kind of gross. Bacteria is there. She's growing. There are also a ton of art supplies like alcohol markers. There's also personal color color pencils that I try to separate with warm and cool tones. It's definitely not a perfect system though because some shit got messed up. Okay, there were some warmer tones in the cooler tones and we need to fix that. I also have a watercolor palette that my sister gave me on the right and this Windsor Newton color palette that I take everywhere when I travel. And the very last thing on my desk is this LED light thing. I know it's really basic. And underneath my desk, we have a fire hazard. Babes, this is a fire hazard. And oh my gosh, y'all, the Stairmaster is back and next to it, there are my shoes. Now for fun, rapid fire art print tour. Matthew Sorgi, myself, Polaroids of Friends, Momi Koi, Moonrise Kingdom and Suvin Universe, Cool Looking Bug, Yoko Ono's Cut Piece, a little drawing by me, Me Earl and the Dying Girl, which is a chef's kiss of a movie, Matthew Sorgi again, and Adventure Time, of course. With all that being said, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, like the video. If you have a fun comment, critique, or joke to share, comment it down below. And if you like me, my art, or want to follow my journey as an art student in LA, you can subscribe. It's a fun time here, and I think that's the end of the video, y'all. That's the end of the video.